Dolphins, 14. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. The return man is Hill. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Second and 10 at the 24-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Jackson to throw on third down. And now he'll turn and off his back foot, he'll heave this deep. Incomplete. And attempted a deep ball the deep there. Ball. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit. And look at this. It's a fake. And this is caught. And the fake will work. He's going to have a first down. 22 yards on the pick up there. And that'll give him a first down. And I don't know what the method is to know when to dial up a fake punt, when not to, whatever the method there, it worked for him. I think you actually did explain it. There is no method. It's just a feel, a sense, and a healthy dose of guts. And touchdown! A great effort there. 51 yards. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Still first down. Side taken in by Hill. He's at the You'll 50. Get nothing and like He's at the 40. 20. 10. And he's into the end zone for the reason. A big play there. Taking it in. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack Lions yardage, that puts your defense in a big time conversion. stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. And oh, it'll be intercepted. The two point attempt is no. A great read and it's picked off. Well, as most teams do in their two point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted and Remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. 
And here now the offense heading back out there. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, Three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> and his throw is incomplete. Jackson's pass. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. He's going to fire one deep. And got his man complete. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. A big play there. 72 yards. And his guys are able to close that gap just a bit. As a former DB, you might not like to see them, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And out he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. On the ground, this is Williams. Sheds another. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a full eight yards. It sets him back for second down. Off the draw, here's Williams. Accelerating and off he goes. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. 57 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. The two-point attempt is no good. Type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. Come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. What? Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs. Yeah, what? preserve that for it. That's, a, uh, that's an ancient just... relic, faking it. You, you, I couldn't understand you. You want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15, mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, the my, erratic, the my stuff grandmother she used to did the same. It smelled yeah, terrible. Too. <laughs> They'll take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Then confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson on the move to his left. He's going to take off with it. 
Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half, no quit in him. Zero. Jackson's pass. Intended Whenever they're trying to attack a zone defense, you're trying to figure out where your gaps are going to be. And depending on what type of zone they're playing, it could be on the outside, it could be in the middle, it could be in the seams, in the edges. In this case, they tried to attack the middle of the field, but this zone defense didn't allow it because they were able to see the ball come off the quarterback's hands and everyone was able to react to the football and knock it away. To throw is Jackson on third down. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. What big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Jackson's pass. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The -yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. So it'll be second and goal when we...